That way it's got the pattern on there that you can see, you know. Mr. Rivera, we're put, pulling our first chalk line at seven inches. So you can snap that line. And then we're gonna come from the front of the deck. And we're gonna go back here 12 inches. 16. Oh, I said, I said 12, 16 inches, excuse me. We're gonna go right here, 16 on center. This is where your first cross member is under the floor. So snap a line there and you should see this line right here, that line, and it'll intersect with this line. So you got an X. Drill a hole and put a screw there. Okay, and then uh, let me let's go tape across. So this one, this one's seven inches, and this one's twelve, like I was showing you on the back. This one right here is twenty-four. So we're gonna snap a chalk line all the way down the whole trailer floor at seven, twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six, and so on. Keep walking across there, guys. There's a little red box I'm pulling my string this morning. So that's your 12, and then this is your last seven. Okay, so we got lines going this way every 12 inches, okay? And those go all the way down to the same marks at the other end of the trailer. And I'll go back down there with you. We'll get... Now we're about to work. Can you help me set that, <laughs> turn that one over? This Fat Max doesn't want to roll up so well. Okay, come back to those screws. Okay, so you'll be able to see these. Again, these are 12 inches. So this one's seven inches in from the edge. The second one right here is 12 in, 24. 36, 48, 60 inches, 72, 84, we're one foot in from this edge, seven in from here. So you're gonna run a chalk line from here all the way up to the front at seven inches. You're going to step over here and you're going to run this one at 12. You're going to run this one at 24. You're going to run this one at 36. And then we're going to take those once we've got all of them across the back. And we're going to go the length of the trailer back to those 16 inches. Because that's where your cross members are. So if we go, if we pretend that this is the front. I'm going to put one right here at the edge of the trailer, okay? And I'm going to come in an inch because I got a two inch tube right here and another two inch tube right here. So I'm going to be right in the middle of those guys, one inch in and seven inches over, okay? Then the next one. Well, this is the back, and this is an oddball length, isn't it? So, if we're pulling from the front, ignore this. If we're pulling from the front, our first one will be here at 16. All right? Our next one will be at 32. Our next one will be at 48. And this should be where you'll see two pieces 
come together. You have a tongue and a groove side, and they seam right down here, and you will go screw, 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 you're alternating sides. You're going on either side, damn, I can't get that, either side of the reveal so you get both pieces to join up in a zigzag pattern across there about every eight inches or so apart. Um, pull from the front every 16 inches, make a mark out here on the side, go over to the other side and do the same thing every 16 inches, make a mark there and then strike a chalk line from that mark to that mark every 16 inches and that goes over the tops of all of your floor joists or your cross members on the trailer. Then go across the front, 7, 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, 84, 96. So all the way across the front, you go take those tabs and line them up with these tab marks, 7, 12, 24, so on. So the whole thing is going to look like a grid. It's going to be a bunch of lines going this way and a bunch of lines going the other way. And where those two intersect, like this or like this, line, line, where those two intersect, drop a screw. Boop. If you got any questions, give me a call. You got this cell number. Thank you.